You'll see that big sign there, no parking, tollway zone. And then there's a van parked there. My goodness. There's actually so many of these signs along the street, so impossible not to see them. Thankfully, the drivers have started coming out to their cars so they can take a ticket and drive away instead of being impounded. Apparently, there's no driver for this one. That's why the towing crew are taking photos and videos. And across the street, let me show you, all of those vehicles over there are actually parked in a big yellow box. And you obviously know that you shouldn't be stopping or parking in a yellow box. Anyway, there are issuing tickets and they might get towed away if there's no drivers. Taxis are required by their franchise to have off-street parking, but many do not, to be honest. I guess there's no drivers because look, towing gear is already being connected. The rain is already starting to come down, so these guys are going to start getting wet. They still have to do their job though. If you look over there, you'll see the same thing. Big sign, no parking anytime. And there's free vehicles, so they're already going up on the tow trucks. That right there could be cat of the day. He's a chunky monkey, so I'm guessing he's fed by humans. Maybe he lives inside. I am a little bit concerned that when they pick up that vehicle, they might want to roll back. So hopefully the tow truck has good brakes. Okay, it looks like they managed it just fine. Sorry about my voice, I really need a drink. Aside from that van there, you can see this red one's also being picked up. There are so, so, so many signs all along this street reminding people, no parking, tollway zone. The gentleman here was asking if they could release his tricycle from the tow truck and I heard Bong say, if I release your tricycle, I have to release all the other vehicles. Otherwise people would say, you're unfair. Why did you take my vehicle, but you let his go? You can see the yellow box is gradually being cleared. Even the task force discipliner here said, you're really not allowed to park there. This is meant to be a way that you can drive through. It's not meant to be a parking lot. Good morning. Good morning. They're gradually inching out with this little blue one. You have to be very careful because it's so steep here. Some people just ran out and asked to get a photo with Bong. I think there's a problem though, somewhere further along the road. So this sedan has an improvised red plate, meaning it's allegedly a government vehicle. I say allegedly because I've seen people put red plates on private vehicles before pretending they're a government vehicle. I'm not saying that's the case here, just that I've seen it before. And this is one of the things, let's say for example that Bong and his team impound this red plate. They might get mad and say, don't you have consideration for other people working in government? But then if they don't ticket and tow this vehicle, members of the public will complain and say, why are you taking our cars? But you're not taking the red plate. Aren't they also obstructing the road? So that's why it's very hard to do your job the right way because you always upset people. Oh, there you go, anti-rabies vaccine, 550 pesos. I just had my vaccine last week. Anyway, this is what I actually wanted to show you. This car is so far from the curb, considered to be illegally parked. They're pulling on the back of that flatbed. A moment ago, I saw a motorcycle riding along this uh, widened road and he suddenly swerved across in front of the oncoming car. It was very close. What I was going to say is they're writing out a ticket to this one, which they consider to be illegally parked. I'm pretty sure the driver will be nearby because I think this has been ticketed in the past. I think it's a regular customer of the MMBA. These barriers were actually used when the road was under construction, when it was being widened. Unfortunately, one of them has fallen down. It's not a big deal, but there are a lot of school children that walk along here. Oh, here you go. Good timing. MMDA Skog will be able to lift that up and at least make the sidewalk passable again. Like I say, it's not the end of the world because it's a wide sidewalk. But since they're here, at least they can fix it. There you go. You may remember in the past I made a comment about these handles sticking up. They actually fixed most of them. Not perfect, but so much better than before. Some of them are just bent over, but still it is a big improvement. I'm not sure how well you can see on camera, but that black car is actually parked on the sidewalk. So anyone trying to walk there is going to be forced into the road. And just look at how many cars and motorcycles are passing. 
like I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of school children walking along this road. So the enforcer will write out the ticket, and then if no one comes out to move it, it could be towed away. Anyway, there goes that car now that they pulled off the sidewalk. And what you'll see now is the sidewalk is passable for pedestrians. Just saw that driver come running back to his car, and the same for many other vehicles over there. They're all parked here on 20th Avenue. I suspect some of them will be fast enough to drive away before they're apprehended. I already saw the enforcer writing out a ticket to that vehicle for illegal parking. The driver just jumped in now. If he shows his license, he'll get the cheaper ticket. Only 1,000 pesos attended. It's not just cars being ticketed. It's also that motorcycle there. He's now taking it inside the house. I wonder why he didn't take it in the house earlier instead of leaving it parked on the road. There is a big sign right there. No parking. And a little further along, there's a lot of taxis parked over there. Sometimes they're waiting for the car wash, obstructing the road. Sometimes they're waiting for passengers at this bus terminal. Talking about the bus terminal, if you look at the sidewalk, it's pretty much always obstructed by buses. And then usually there's more vehicles parked in the first lane.